Oh, Malcolm gets there, luckily. Oh, Malcolm has put it into the back of the net. I do not know how Malcolm got the ball there in that position. Messi shoots straight at the keeper. Why? This one, Dembele does it well. Luis Suarez, let's go, guys. The overhead kick from Luis Suarez gets us the equaliser. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another one of these Barcelona career mode episodes. Episode number 6 and today's episode we push on in La Liga. Hopefully we can bring in more impressive results. Right now we are top of the league with 21 points. But in today's episode we do have some tricky games against Valencia and Sevilla. And that's not all guys, more Champions League action. You guys know the drama we had in that Champions League game against Inter Milan and probably it's going to continue as we face Spurs who are top of our Champions League group. So a lot of action in today's episode. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes of the Barca career mode. And if you guys are, make sure to drop a like on this video as it really helps the channel. And if you're watching my videos for the first time, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content. Massive thanks to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. If you're a football fan and want to keep up to date with all the relevant football stuff going around the world, it's just the perfect app for you. It's available on both iOS and Android. You can of course select your team, follow your team, get notifications for the team you support. Apart from that, it's got a very clean and user-friendly UI. You can of course read new articles related to football, get your transfer news, Check out league tables, stats, fixtures and practically everything you need to stay up to date with the footballing world. As I personally use this app, I highly recommend you guys trying it out as well. If you guys are interested in the OneFootball app, make sure you use the link in the description below to download the app right now as it helps my channel. Alright guys, time for today's press conference. From now on, I've decided to include Facecam during the press conference segment. I just feel it makes the career mode more realistic and the press conference segment more realistic. If you guys want to get involved with the press conferences through questions, put them down in the comment section below. First question of the day, can you give more time to Timo Werner so he can be better and he can score more goals? Honestly guys, right now with the form Luis Suarez is in, it's pretty difficult to give Timo Werner any sort of game time, but I'll try with cup games coming up with a lot of you know, fixture congestion, Werner will certainly get time. He's a very good player though, but Luis Suarez right now is just on another level. Do you think this Barcelona team can achieve the treble this season? In all honesty, I really think we can get the job done. We've got a very good squad and the best part is, we've still got about 100 plus million left to spend in potentially the January transfer window. So we've got room for improvement, we're performing well in La Liga. Cup hasn't started yet, Spanish Cup, but I'm sure we'll be favourites for that tournament as well. Champions League, we aren't doing that bad either. A few tactical changes and I'm sure we'll be sorted. So, I really think we've got a good shot at winning the treble. Let me know in the comments section, what do you think of our odds of winning the treble this season? Alright guys, this one is a bit of an interesting question. Do you consider loaning Ricky Puig out? In all honesty, no. I feel like he'll be very useful for us in cup games. Besides that, him being at the club means we can train him and develop him into the player we want him to be. And I feel like the chances he'll get in the cup games will certainly be enough for at least the first season. Second season, we'll decide then. But right now, I'm going to be keeping Ricky Puig at the club and certainly will be giving him chances whenever possible. That is it guys for today's press call. Conference. Let's move on. Player of the episode goes to Luis Suarez. As we discussed in the previous episode of how sometimes the voting system can be unfair and hence I've decided myself to go ahead and decide the player of the episode every episode. The voting will still be up but we'll just consider that as a fan vote. So from the performances of the previous episode I've decided to give this one to Luis Suarez. That overhead kick or the scissors kick whatever you want to call it was just so important for us considering Spurs have been dominating in the Champions League as well and they are in our group. So what an important goal. He was brilliant in that game and that goal was just amazing in itself best goal of the series so far so there you go Luis Suarez does win player of the episode last episode unfortunately Ivan Rakitic picked up a bit of a major injury he'll be out for the next five weeks or so so the likes of Vidal, Artur and all need to step up 
and they're getting a massive opportunity here against Valencia away from home at the Estadio Mastella. And guess what? I'm still going with a lot of the big players like Messi, Suarez and all. So we've still got a very strong team. And even though we do lack Rakitic and maybe even Coutinho in midfield, I reckon we should be able to get the job done. Can we make it 8 wins out of 8 in La Liga? Let's find out. Oh, this is not good. Oh, that, that's just terrible for me. What a save to Stegen. Absolutely unbelievable from Mark andre to Stegen. I honestly lost hope and was going to just crib about how OP crossing is in this game. But there you go, Ter Stegen comes and saves us there. Brilliant keeper. Vidal finds Busquets. Now after I see the run of Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba gets the shot off. Keeper makes a good save. Here go Valencia on the attack again. It's Vas. We know he's a quality player. Inside to Carlos Soler and Piscini now down the wings. Cross played in. This is not looking good. Oh my days. Valencia. They're absolutely balling out against us. We've got to up our game. Otherwise we'll end up losing this one. This honestly has been such a weird game. I mean first half was electrifying. But second half. Nothing much has happened which is really weird. I thought Valencia were going to come out attacking. Trying to get all three points at their home stadium. But it's been the complete opposite. It seems like both teams are happy with the draw. I'm hoping we can potentially sneak away with a winner or something because we aren't playing well either. Oh, Messi's on the run. Messi's on one of those runs. Messi shoots. What a strike from Messi. No way has that hit the post. What a goal would that have been, man. That would have really challenged Luis Suarez's bicycle kick from the previous episode. That's so unfortunate. Out wide to Leo Messi. Messi again. Oh, brilliant from Messi. The shimmy was perfect. Still Messi. Messi shoots! Oh, come on! Way too much power on that. That's my fault, guys. Messi normally would score that. I just put way too much power. Oh, this is not looking good, Ter Stegen. Thankfully makes the save. Since I was talking about both teams being happy with the draw, it seems like the game has just woken up and both teams are now going for it. Which is pretty weird as we might have a chance now. Here's Usman Dembele. Tries to whip in across, but he gets it back. A ball played in again and Messi with the header. Come on! Messi's had like three great chances in the second half. Haven't been able to convert, man. That's disappointing. Wait, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a freaking minute. We just got a penalty for absolutely nothing. Or was there something that I didn't notice? Oh, come on. What just happened here? Yeah, I'm not complaining. I'll be honest. I'm absolutely not complaining. So, all right. So Dembele here put in a cross. Okay. So it was for that foul on Leo Messi. I'm not even sure if that was a foul. But that's so weird. How Why did the ref give a pen for that? But oh well, let's take it. Let's try and score with Messi now. Not much power on it. Right side. There you go. Leo Messi scores. And probably one of the most undeserved goals we're going to score in this series. But I'm not complaining, guys. I'm absolutely not complaining. 1-0 Barca. There you have it, guys. Full time. We get the job done. Barcelona 1. Valencia 0. Let's not talk about that penalty ever again. Because... I'll be honest, it kind of feels like we've robbed Valencia, but oh well, it's football, it happens. Three points again on the board. We have now gone eight games in La Liga and eight wins and we are unbeaten. He's getting nice to see indeed. Malcolm disappointed not to start. Well, sometimes in football, you've got to choose who to start and who to drop. We went for Dembele in the previous game, but Malcolm will surely get his chances. We're getting some more training in and there you go, Ricky Puj now up to a 71 overall. Training has made his stats go up pretty well. Look at that now, he's on 68 sprint speed, 76 ball control, decent enough stats. Hopefully they'll keep on continuing to grow because I really like Ricky Puj in this game and I really want him to succeed here at Barcelona for us. Oh my days, just look at our fixture schedule for the next week or so. We've got first Sevilla on a Saturday, then on a Wednesday we've got Tottenham, which is again a massive game considering they're top of our group in the Champions League, and then we've got Real Madrid. I mean, this is just insanity. It's going to be a tremendous week of football for us. A bit of an appreciation for Arturo Vidal. In the absence of Ivan Rakitic, I've really enjoyed using him, which is a bit of a surprise because I felt like he didn't really have the Barca DNA as per but he does look like a solid play. He's not the quickest, but he's just such a beast physically. I know he's going down in his stats, but he's got some really good technical attributes and I really like using him in game. Thankfully, we have him at the club so that the Rakitic's absence is not really being felt. 
Alright guys, we've got ourselves a massive challenge against Sevilla at home in La Liga. We're balling out 8 wins out of 8. Let's hope we can make it 9 out of 9. But as we've got that Spurs game coming up in like just 3 days, Real Madrid next week as well, we've got to prioritise and I've decided to rest Messi for literally the first time in this series. Dembele, Malcolm and Werner are going to be our front three. The pace they possess it's going to be difficult for the Sevilla backline to deal with them. So yes, I've decided to rest a few plays. Hopefully it won't really cost us. And also one of the big changes you will see, Ricky Puig is making his debut for Barcelona. He's been really turning up in training, getting the job done, getting his overall up. And I think it's fair to say it's the right time to give him his debut and see what he's all about. I've still started a few of the experienced guys like PK, Busquets and Alba because I think we'll still need experience in the team. But this is basically our lineup. Let's hope we can get the job done against Sevilla. Oh no, Sevilla have broken through our defensive line pretty easily as well. But again, Mark andre Ter Stegen. To be fair, it could be the first time in this series a goalkeeper wins player of the episode. There you go, he makes another save. He's made like a tremendous amount of saves in this game as well as the Valencia game. Oh no, this is not good. Roque Mesa absolutely smashes that one in. And there goes our clean sheet in this game. Wow, Rocky Mesa, near post as well. There was no chance Ter Stegen was saving that because just the raw power on that shot was just tremendous. And this could end up being our first loss of the season. We do not even have Messi or Luis Suarez to save us. The likes of Werner, Dembele, Malcolm need to step up. Werner in behind to Usman Dembele. I think he's onside. Let's go, guys. Usman Dembele is onside. Dembele goes for the finish shot, come on! And by the way, how were the opposing defenders catching up to Usman Dembele? Come on man, Dembele is certainly faster than them. Oh come on, Sevilla absolutely destroying us, what even is that? Genuinely, what even is that? I mean, I cannot blame the defenders, I cannot blame the goalkeeper because that strike was genuinely insane and Roque Mesa has absolutely destroyed us. Let's just say that. Firstly, in the first half, a near post finish, that was virtually unstoppable. And now in the second half, that strike, I mean, some of the big clubs are definitely going to look to try and sign him because a player that can pull off such kind of shots, he's definitely going to be in demand. I was actually going to bring on Messi, Suarez and Coutinho right now, but it doesn't seem like there's any point in doing so because it's a 2-0 deficit and I'd much rather have them fully fit for that Spurs game now. Another chance for Sevilla maybe, and wow, wow, wow. We've absolutely been humiliated here against Sevilla at home. 3-0? This is actually turning out to be a bit of a joke. I mean, what are these players doing? The likes of Werner, Malcolm up front are doing nothing. Defensively, nothing's happening as well. I genuinely don't know what's happened in this game. We've absolutely collapsed. This is probably going to be our first loss of the season. Hopefully, we'll be able to learn from it, because... These kind of performances in the Champions League will see us getting knocked out. Werner in behind to Arturo Vidal who is onside. Vidal shoots. Why did he side foot it there? Come on game. I went for the driven shot. Just lace it. Come on. That's frustrating guys. I think this is a glitch where players instead of you know doing the driven shot. They go ahead and lace it. Oh Nolito has turned Semedo there. This is turning out to be embarrassing. I just want the final whistle to be blown. Because this is just ridiculous. I'm getting battered here on Ultimate Difficulty. For those of you guys think who I'm... Who, well... <coughs> well, for those of you guys who ever thought that I wasn't playing on Ultimate Difficulty. There you go. Live example of what Ultimate Difficulty can do to you. I'm certainly going to be depressed after this game for at least about an hour. Because I've just been humiliated here. Does this mean we are just completely dependent on Leo Messi and Luis Suarez? I mean, there's nothing wrong in being dependent on those two guys, but that may be the harsh truth, guys. Let me know in the comment section. What's just happened here is just... I don't know what to say, even. That's one of the worst losses I've suffered in FIFA, which is crazy. Hopefully, we'll be able to, you know, change things or turn things around against Spurs. Well, we've got a bit of awesome news. Ivan Rakitic is almost back to full fitness, which is brilliant. Most importantly, though, we've got Champions League action now against Spurs. And that is certainly going to be a massive game. Spurs right now top of our Champions League group with 6 points. So getting a result against them will be huge for us. And this one's away from home, the new Tottenham Stadium. I'm excited to see how this game turns out for us. 
Is there any article regarding this game? Oh, well, there isn't really. Usually there's those cutscenes that you guys can see, but this time, none of that stuff. So, Barcelona versus Spurs in the Champions League. Let's just put that horror show against Sevilla behind us and get the job done now in the Champions League. I'm not messing about, guys. I've gone with practically the strongest 11 I could because I feel like this is a must-win game, so I'm kind of risking Rakitic as well, but I feel like his presence could really help us in this game as a controller, as a player to just, you know, feed Messi and Suarez. So that is why I've gone with this lineup. It's, again, a very solid team. Let's get right into this game and see the lineup Spurs are fielding against us. The new Tottenham Stadium does look pretty good. It's interesting that the stadium is actually not complete right now in real life, but in the game it's already there, which is nice to see. But there you go, the anthem, and I'm just so excited for this one against Spurs. What? Iron Robin at Spurs? I'm sorry, what? Now I'm super hyped to see Spurs' lineup. This looks interesting. So this is the Spurs team, um, Eriksen, Robin. Harry Kane, oh wow, they've got a good team and their bench looks great as well. Look at their first team, guys. They've got Iron Robin in there. That's actually crazy. Who would have thought Robin would join Spurs? That's a crazy transfer. Suarez, now Felipe Coutinho, there he goes on the attack. Oh, Coutinho goes down just outside the box. But th that footwork there from Coutinho, tell you what, step overs, they are really good to do in career mode against the AI. Because they seem to really just don't know what to do against them, which is nice to see. Can we score a free kick in this series with Leo Messi? This is his chance. Messi hits the wall. When am I going to score a free kick, man? Jordi Alba. Inside to Luis Suarez. Back to Jordi Alba. This is brilliant. The flick from Suarez was absolutely gorgeous. Now Suarez. Now Usman Dembele with a lot of space to run into. This is where Dembele can be very dangerous. Cross inside, oh come on, the cross just wasn't good enough from Usman Dembele. That is half time in this game against Spurs and it's been such a cagey affair against them. I expected Spurs to attack a lot more against us but turns out that they are also a bit defensive in this game. Same as us though, we haven't been able to create many chances in this game. It's been a stalemate as you would like to say in this first half. Hopefully things will open up a bit more come the second half. In fact, I'm actually going to be making a tactical change going into the second half. I'll be switching to, of course, the 4-2-3-1. I think it'll be more effective for us in this game because Spurs are also using that formation. So let's see if we can beat them at their own formation. To Messi. Messi shoots. Leo Messi, no way. On the rebound. Come on. Coutinho scores on the rebound. That is such an undeserved goal in terms of our performance and all because I feel like it was a 50-50 game but oh well I will definitely take that goal. Leo Messi hits the post and that's just so disappointing to not see that one go in because it was such a good effort but Coutinho right place right time is there to you know get us the winner hopefully at least. Let's hold on to this lead guys I do not want to be dropping any goals late on in this game or dropping points and all that. I don't know what to say, it's be, it, it was such a difficult game, Spurs didn't really want to go for it 100%, they were, you know, kind of wary of our attack. The same can be said for us, we were finding it really difficult to break them down, but ultimately, Messi, with that brilliant attempt, got us in a position to score, we took the opportunity, and hence we come away with the three points, which could be massive for this Champions League group. Well, this is how things are looking for us in the Champions League top of our group, it looks like Inter have bottled it against PSV which means they're now in a very difficult spot in third place while we are in first position with seven points which is nice to see but what a difficult episode this has been man in La Liga as well we suffered a 4-0 defeat to Sevilla but even after all that we are top of La Liga with 24 points six ahead of Real Betis and the best part nine points ahead of Real Madrid Let's hope we can keep it that way. Top scorers in La Liga. Leo Messi's in there with seven goals in eight games, which is nice to see. Suarez in there, which is four. Surely Suarez has scored more than four goals. I think majority of Suarez's goals have come in the Champions League. Maybe that's why. Or maybe Leo Messi recently, you know, in this episode, scored like a couple of goals and all that. So, well, things are looking pretty well for us in La Liga. Champions League, though, I feel like we still need to improve our performances. Next episode, though, oh my days, we've got Real Madrid, Rayo Vallecano, Rayo Vallecano again, potentially even that Spurs game. I might try and fit in four games in the next episode. Let me know what you guys think about that. 
That guys is it for today's episode, it is time for the fan vote for of course the player of the episode, you guys get to vote for your player of the episode and the nominees are Coutinho, scored the winning goal in that game and overall was really good in midfield in today's episode, wasn't involved in the Sevilla match so definitely worthy of the nomination. Messi is your second nominee, you guys can vote by clicking the i button on the top right of your screen. He was brilliant in the episode as well, scored that crucial goal in the first game that we played the penalty and also was involved in the goal that we scored against Spurs to get us the three points. So I button, top right, do vote. And that guys is it for today's episode, make sure to drop a like on this video to show your support. Your support really means a lot man and it does really help the channel out when you guys you know, drop likes, comments and all that sort of stuff. Next episode is also going to be super hyped as we've got Real Madrid. Subscribe if you're watching my videos for the first time and I will see you guys very soon with another episode of the Barcelona Career Mode.